hi guys welcome to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys something very very interesting as you can tell already that there's something different from my makeup than normal i'm going to be sharing my thoughts about the huda beauty 3d bronze edition palette right there the one which is the dark one is the bronze edition and the next one right here is the pink edition then the final one right here is the gold edition yeah golden edition i'm quite impressed with this highlighter palettes really because the kind of person that doesn't really like a bow pow highlighter but with this highlighter palette i am i i was blown away like i was blown away when mm -hmm. i tried it i used the bronze sand palettes and i'm going to swatch them for you guys before the end of this video but the very very interesting and important part of this palette that i need to share with you guys is we need to take a moment to appreciate this you know prep the primer i'll call it a primer really because it's the one you apply before you apply it's the shade you apply before applying the highlighter so i'll call it a primer it's in the shade barbados in this gold in this bronze sand edition oh my days guys it's so creamy it feels very smooth and i don't know how to explain it. it's like guys look at that it's very creamy very smooth and very soft on the skin it's oh my days guys look at that it's just so me it's the kind of highlighters that I could wear any day any time like i'm quite impressed with this one we really need to swatch it for you guys so you understand what I'm saying I'm not very good with swatches guys look at that look at the primer it's so creamy very soft and smooth on the skin it applies very it applies very nice skin I don't know if the light is doing the justice to this primer but I am a huge fan trust me I am a huge fan I've been using a lot of lighter recently but I am always very careful you know not to apply too much or not to you know apply too little or not to go overboard with this highlighter i noticed that when i applied the primer on my cheeks i could do with that as my highlighter to be honest because the glow was real i but when i decided to apply the shade barbados on top of the primer my god guys the primer you know the primer grabbed the highlighter like stick to it like glue like the highlighter is going nowhere guys you can tell from the glow right there and it applies so smoothly so nicely on the skin i'm not a fan of uh pow pow highlighter but to be honest guys this is by far one of the my favorite highlighters that i've tried so far it's not a matter of yeah oh because it's a pr no guys look at me have you ever seen me glow like this no, let me know if you've seen me glow like this. This glow is totally real. Trust me, guys. And I also use this shade right here as my blush. And you can tell from my makeup that it's so it's very subtle on the skin not too bright not too dark the camera is not just doing justice to this at all so i'm gonna swatch the shade barbados just beside the one that i swatched for you now so you can tell guys look at that that is Barbados so you can imagine the glow without the primer to talk of layering it on the primer so guys look at that I camera is not doing justice to this for me at all like seriously guys look at that it's so glowy I am going to swatch the shade called Bora Bora also from that palette as well I'm going to swatch that here for you guys Bora Bora is like a blush for me, I don't know, let me see. yeah, it says we're on apple of the cheeks for a healthy glow. Yeah, I think that's what that's meant for, really. It's, you know, just a flush color to the cheeks, which is really nice. I bet you can tell from the swatch right there that it's a very subtle blush shade for me, which I really liked. It's a very nice blush shade that gives you that, you know, little flush of color to your cheeks, if I may say, yeah which is quite nice and the shade Aruba is of the camera is doing the justice to this glow sky to this glow guys because this feels so so nice even if at all you don't want to spend a lot to get the three highlighter palettes I would recommend highly recommend this highlighter because this is the only one that I've tried so far but 
while we are at it i might as well share the rest of the highlighter palette with you guys i'm going to go in for the pink sand edition right now in kapari satoni and i don't know how to pronounce that but ibiza is the last one really this would be more suited for someone that is more fair in complexion with me uh more fair in complexion than i do so i'm going to swatch that right here for you guys oh my days guys look at that the consistency is very similar to the one that I swatched for you guys right now. It's so creamy, very smooth and applies really nicely on the skin. I'm going to swatch the next shade which is Satoroni. I'm going to swatch that just right here. Satoroni is a very white pale shade, for white light shade for someone that is very very light skinned. You know it's not for women of color at all so this is more suited for someone that is lighter fairer than my complexion so that's Saturni. but the shade and the, cons uh, the consistency of this eyelashes are similar to the one that i swatched earlier which is quite nice guys look at that that is so pigmented so so pigmented and very nice so I'm going to swatch this Ibiza. This Ibiza is also very good as a blush. The camera is looking flushed and all. So it's not doing justice to it. This is Ibiza. Ibiza is an orange light subtle kind of blush. It's, it's, it can be used to someone of color or someone like me. I can easily do with this as an eyeliner as well. Which is really nice. I would be using that one definitely. But in this... Um, pink edition shade the only one that i think i can use is the satoroni which is the only one that i think is too light for me but i could do with using that as my eyeshadow really but apart from that the rest of the shade in the palette apart from the satoroni which is the right white bright shade in the palette but apart from that the rest of the three can i can still do away i can still do with those three and i can still manipulate and use them nicely on my skin which is quite good and this is the swatch of that one is the pink shade uh, is the pink sand edition right there quickly swatch the last one for you guys because the battery is the battery of my camera is going to go off so let me quickly swatch that for you this is the this is the golden edition golden edition is you know live it's it's in between the pink edition and the bronze edition exactly how i felt about this one it's between these those two the bronze and the golden uh, is between the bronze and the pink edition the reason be the reason why i said that is because in this one are very similar to the shades in the, uh, the last two palettes that i shared with you but with a bit of you know deep tone to it it has a bit of deep tone to it which i really really like a lot i'm just gonna swatch this for you guys to see uh i'm gonna start with the primer which is fiji oh my lord guys the consistency of these primers are everything it's everything look at that it has a shifty goldy you know tone to it that i really like i'm going to swatch the the next one to you is called shy something I, I don't know how to pronounce that guys bear with me look at that guys look at how opaque and how pigmented this highlighter is guys i'm not going on about the fact that oh yeah it's really this is really that but it's the truth guys if you have the opportunity to go out there and watch this then you can tell you know what i'm talking about the third one is called Tati, I'm just going to swatch Tati right here. Guys, look at that. The camera is not doing justice to this pigment, really. Guys, it's very, very opaque. Then the last but not the least shade in this palette is called Zanzibar. Zanzibar is a very, very beautiful blood shade. It reminds me of the uh, sleek blush in the shade. I can't remember what it's called. I think rose gold or something. But this Zanzibar shade is a must have. In your kit guys it's a very very rose it's, it, I won't say pink I won't say orange it's between pink and orange you know it has a pink and orange shift to it which is very very nice which I really liked look at that guys look at that 
they are very opaque they are very pigmented and they're very soft and buttery so i like the fact that it doesn't have that powdery that powdery feel to it no it doesn't it's so soft and the, it's it's so soft and it's so creamy so guys you can tell from the glow right there i'm just gonna go over that for you guys to see look at that guys look at that glow a little goes a long way you don't need to apply a lot to get this to achieve this look so in conclusion i like the highlighter i like the highlighters i like the fact that they're very pigmented I like the fact that the primer is very soft, creamy and buttery on the skin. It applies so smooth on the skin and it gives you that glow that is going nowhere that, you know, I like to apply my highlighter and be rest assured that when it, that I won't need to touch up or anything. And I really like the fact that it changed my, you know, perspective of how I feel about highlighters really because in most cases I'm not the kind of person that I really likes to wear a lot of highlighters and I found out that this really <laughs> changed my you know my my thoughts and the way I feel about highlighters generally I'll be using them more often because with this highlighter I don't really need to spray my brush also I apply the primer and the highlighter of the bronze sand edition on my on my lids and it applies perfectly I mean, there's no fallout, there's no chalkiness, there's no, you know, there's no that uh, feel that I do get from some eyeshadows, which is really, really important for me, which means I could also use it as my eyeshadow. I could always use it as my eyeshadow, my highlighter, my bronzer, my everything, which is quite important for me because you know I like an holy one palette and I think Uda Beauty is really doing a great job at the moment because so far so good all our products that I've tried so far are really really have really wowed me that I had to go out there and get the foundation to you know try it and test it for myself and see if she actually you know did it again which I'm quite impressed that she did I'm impressed and You'll be seeing more of the highlighters on my channel because I like them, I would always use them and I'm just quite surprised that the camera is not just doing justice to the pigmentation, the opaqueness, I, I'm saying, I don't know what I'm saying, the opacity, I like them, I would definitely repurchase them if I had to, consistency, it's very creamy, non not no powder feel to it. It's very smooth. It applies smoothly on the skin. It's very buttery. It's you know it's just all I had for in an highlighter, which I don't need to you know go and grab my uh, fix gloss or any spray in my fix gloss on my brush. You know I'm quite happy about that. So thank you guys so much for all your love and support on my Instagram, on my YouTube, on all my social media platform thank you so much for supporting me thank you so much for always leaving lovely comments thumbs up my videos you guys have been really really amazing thank you so much guys i want to be doing a giveaway soon but i'm not quite sure when so keep an eye on my channel if you're interested and i'll see you in my next one bye guys hi guys welcome to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a very simple makeup tutorial for you guys i actually received the Uda Beauty 3D highlighter in bronze sans edition right there so i'm going to, so i'm going to be filming something very very you know simple just to share my thoughts about the highlighters with you guys so let's get started so this is what the package looks like so i'm going to try as much as i can to use most of the products most of our product that i've got in my collection so i'm going to start by using this shade right here it's, it's called blazing i'm going to use that as my transitional shade very simple look just to share the products that i used to with you guys so bear that in mind that it's going to be a very quick tutorial Take the shade right here, it's called Saffron. This one, I'm going to apply that 
just below my transitional shade. shade right here is called orange. I'm going to apply that in my outer V as well just to build up the shade in my outer V. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye as well. This eyeshadow is very very pigmented. I like it. When you use it, you don't need to use a black eyeshadow. If you're like me, I don't like a fine eyeshadow on your lips, so it's a very, very nice shade. Looking down on my lips as well, but I'll be applying in a lighter shade. Next, I'm going to take this the 3D highlighter right here by Huda Beauty. It's the darkest one in the collection, so I'm going to be using this one. I'm going to take the shade Barbados right here as my eye primer. Wow. Guys, this is really lovely. It's very, very creamy and very, very nice. It feels so good. I love that. I really, really love that. So I'm going to take that shade again. Barbados. I'm going to use that to prime my lips. I might actually use that in, as my eyeshadow actually because it's so nice and shimmery on the lips. So next I'm going to go over that using the shade called Maldives. This shade right here. I'm going to apply that on my lips. I don't know why, when I do my cut creams, there's one is always higher than the other. I really, really like I like this shade Maldives because it's so creamy on the lips, just like a normal eyeshadow, and it's very, very pigmented. So I'm quite happy I could use this as an eyeshadow one. At the same time, use it as my highlighter. But guys, bear in mind, every time I do a cut crease, this side is always higher than this side. I don't know why. Maybe it's just my eyes. I don't know. I'm gonna take the shade Oud from the uh, this up dust palette. I'm going to apply that. I'm gonna blend that into this shade that I just applied just now. I'm gonna blend that into my crease. And I'm going to do the same on the other side just to blend the shade in seamlessly to avoid any line of demarcation on my lips. Aid called Cosmo is actually a glitter, really. The glitter from this palette right here. I'm going to take mix that with a MAC mixing medium. I've gone too far in but never mind we're just gonna roll like that so to line my eyes I'm gonna be using the Laurel Laurel Super Slim liner right here I'm going to be applying my eyelashes. I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty glue right here. This is actually one of my favorite lash glue because it dries really quick and it lasts all day. It makes the application of the lashes really quick because 
when it dries real quick then it's easier for me to apply your lashes which I really like about the glue so next I'm going to move on with the face I'm going to be using the Smashbox quarter finish primer right here I'm going to use that to prime my face So for my face, I'm going to be using the Uda Beauty foundation right here. My face, I'm going to be using the Tact Tip Shape Concealer right here. To contour my face, I'm going to be using the Fashion Festi foundation right here in the shade, I think it's Java. I'm going to take the tip shape concealer again. I'm going to use that to sharpen the contour area. I'm going to take the Fashion Fair setting powder right here to use that to set the highlighted areas. I'm going to take this shade right here, I'm going to apply that as my blush. So next I'm going to set my face using the Skindivia setting spray right here. I'm going to use that to set my face. lot of highlighter today so I'm going to be using this one that I used earlier I'm going to apply this as a base and I'm going to apply this on top of what you do with that applying the layer of it because for me I like very subtle highlighter and this would actually work for me as, a, as an highlighter on it so people it's very nice I like this it's so creamy and very very subtle. I like this. This is really nice. So now I'm going to let I'm gonna go over that with the shade Maddie's right here from the darker shade of, of the highlighter. Oh my days. Guys, you need to go get this. You need to go get this. Did you see that glow guys? Did you see that for that? Look at that. I am shining bright like a diamond. Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh my days, this is so cool. It was that I applied earlier as a base. I noticed that when I applied the Maldives on it, it makes it like you know, grab the, it grabs the highlighter like that, like you're going nowhere, look at that. This is going to stay there all day I guess, because this is my first time using it, but I can tell from the way it grabs the highlighter on my skin, you know it's going nowhere, so I'm really feeling this glow guys. I'm really, really feeling it. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. I'm not the kind of person that really goes for Pow Pow highlighter, but this one I am feeling it. I'm gonna be using the Uda Beauty Lip Contour in the shade Ad Breaker right there. I'm gonna be using the Uda Beauty Lipstick in the shade Material Girl. This shade again, more lips. I'm going to apply that on my 
и няколко на. Guys, can you see the glow? It's blinding, isn't it?